These adopted twins are about to meet their newly adopted biological baby sis. Nathan and Sheena tried to have a baby for 15 years. But after nine miscarriages and three failed IVF attempts, they decided to adopt two beautiful twin sisters. And later on, when they had the chance to adopt another little one, they knew they wanted to raise all three sisters together. And twin Sadie and Noah had no idea little Eden was coming home. <laughs> what is that? What is it? Look. Is that you, sister? Hey, sister. Oh. <laughs> this boy never thought he'd reunite with his best friend. Eight-year-old Corin met 11-year-old Bronson on a cruise and they quickly became best buds. On the last day of the cruise, Corin even said all he wanted for his birthday was to see Bronson again. So stepmom Rhea made sure his birthday wish came true, even though they live four hours away from each other. Once the weekend came to a close, there were even a few tears. But the parents keep in touch and know the boys will have a lifelong friendship. Corey is rushing to his wife, thinking there's an emergency at her work. But she's actually going to surprise him with a huge announcement. Corey and Savannah unexpectedly lost their first baby and had been trying for another ever since. So when she found out she was finally pregnant with their rainbow baby, she had her husband meet her at work as soon as possible without any other explanation. <laughs> and Grandma was just as excited. Oh my God! Is this what I think it is? Is it? Is it? Oh, oh really? I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant too. <laughs> Brienne just wanted to capture her bestie's reaction to her pregnancy announcement. But what she didn't know is that Ashton had an announcement of her own. Oh, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant too. <laughs> They both have one child already and both wanted to grow their families, but never expected it to happen at the same exact time. We're a week apart? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh. Can you hear us? Hey. Can you hear me? <laughs> it's okay. Oh, can, you can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Talk to him. Mommy. Can you hear Daddy? Me? This mom is getting her kids drawing tattooed. 
Lauren, who's a single mom, is incredibly close with her six-year-old daughter, Hayden. And Hayden has always loved art since she was little. She's even had artwork featured in the county fair. You just drew that? So when Hayden drew one of their favorite animals one day, So cute! Her mom knew she had to show her daughter just how special her art truly is. The tattoo! What did I get? The tattoo that I drew. What do you think? Good. Does it make you happy? Yeah. Does it hurt? I'm okay. I like it. You like it? Now, Lauren told us she'll always have a reminder of how much art shaped her daughter growing up. Love you. I love you. And she hopes to have Hayden redraw the little turtle one day and also get it tattooed facing the other one. I really got to have like Christmas dinner with my entire biological family on accident. Melissa was adopted as a baby from Vietnam to the U.S. There were times I would like kind of hang back while my mom would walk next to my friend and be like, wow, um, they look more related than I do with like my actual parents. Um, so that was definitely like an internal battle. And when she graduated high school, her aunt promised her a trip anywhere in the world. And she knew exactly where she wanted to go. I felt that I'd really lost myself. I was like, I kind of want to know who I am in the sense of like the culture, the food, the clothing, uh, all of that kind of stuff. So I told her I wanted to go to Vietnam. But the least I could do is go back to the orphanage where I'm from and give back. So they planned to be at the orphanage on Christmas. We didn't know if it was the right orphanage. There were two orphanages in town. One had closed down a couple years ago. Um, so by default, we had went to this one. But seeing the places of like where they sleep, where they socialize and all of that stuff, just vaguely felt like I felt a weird connection to it almost. A lady and a man came up to my aunt and I. She's like trying to communicate, like follow him. He remembers when she was adopted. Then he pulls out a book and shows my picture. It's my baby photo and I start bawling because I've seen this photo so many times. Just having that confirmation that we were at the right place was such a whirlwind of just like a sense of like feeling complete. It was very fulfilling to be like, wow, like this is where I'm from. But the shock wouldn't end there. And they're like, your family comes back every couple months since you were adopted and drops off updated phone numbers, updated addresses, any sort of contact information for us if you ever decided to come back. And her family still lived in town. Three people show up on a moped. They take off their helmets and I just see like an elderly woman that I just knew was my mom. It was a crazy, crazy, weird experience. She just held me and I was just like, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> and when she went back to her biological parents' house, she saw her baby photo framed. But that wasn't all. 30 people show up, uh, and it's all of like biological, like nieces, nephews, aunts, uncles, siblings, and they all like are pulling out their wallet and they all have that photo in their wallets, in picture frames at their houses because they just hoped and prayed that I would like find my way back to them. They had um, held out for me for so long, um, just like hoping that I'd come back and find them. And it's crazy that I actually did. We FaceTimed my parents and like my biological parents met my parents. And I just remember them being so thankful, being like, thank you so much for giving her a life we could only ever imagine here in Vietnam. And one day, she hopes to return to Vietnam with her adopted family so everyone can meet in person too. This is my brother, my other brother, my sister, my sister, and my other sister. We all went out to dinner and I'm sitting around like this huge long table of everyone who's related to me and just like looking around the table and being like, we have the same eyes. We have the same nose. It's just so fulfilling. So I've really got to have like Christmas dinner with my entire biological family on accident. 
that's like something I, I think I'll just never forget. 10-year-old Gia has a very important question for her stepdad. What? <laughs> Is this real adoption papers? Yeah. Anthony came into Gia's life two years ago. He became an amazing father figure and they formed a great bond together. So much that she wanted him to adopt her. So she made a beautiful memory book to give him before the big ask. It's true. <laughs> oh, man, I already know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is so cute. Look at this. Yeah, you're already adopted, so you're already my daughter. So. <laughs> You're already my daughter. Mm -hmm. My daughter. Mm. Oh, so cute. Oh. What? <laughs> Is this real adoption papers? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> she wanted to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> You funny. <laughs> oh yeah, we doing this. Dang. Yeah, we doing this. <laughs> no! No! Oh my gosh! No! Are you for real? Are you? Oh my gosh! It's so crazy. <laughs> Before Alex and Jenica moved in together, they lived with mom Linda and had a fast food tradition every Tuesday together. <laughs> How far along are you? Uh, four months. No, you're not! <laughs> <laughs> so, hiding the ultrasound in a fast food bag was the perfect way to surprise her. Oh my god! <laughs> and it'll be her first grandchild. <laughs> <laughs> this woman completely transformed her life after losing 200 pounds because of this little one. Anna used to be 450 pounds and struggled with her weight her whole life, especially after being diagnosed with PCOS and insulin resistance. It led her to have depression, high blood pressure, and thyroid issues. But where it affected her the most was with her baby nephew. Say hello, my name is Bradley. One day, she realized she wouldn't be able to play with or care for him in the best way because of her weight. So through weight loss surgery, diet, and exercise, she lost 200 pounds in one year. I feel so free. Oh my gosh. I've always dreamed of being able to run. And now, Anna has so much fun with her nephew, whether they're running, dancing, or going down a slide together. Coming down. Whoa. Whoa. Good, Good job. job. This grandma couldn't attend her granddaughter's wedding. Hello. Jessica has always shared a very special bond with her grandma, Helen. But the 97-year-old couldn't spend such a long day out because of her age. So, 10 days after her wedding, Jessica made a special visit to make sure Grandma Helen would still be a part of her wedding memories. Oh, look at how beautiful <laughs> she looks! Hello! Hello. <laughs> oh, my sweet! Hi, then. It's harder to love oh, girls when you are not oh, in the actual kitchen. Oh, I'm going to be boy. It's just gorgeous. Thank you. How are you? Yes, you guys. Oh, my God. You made a beautiful couple. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Help me. Oh, that is gorgeous. Thank you. This mural took three whole years to finish. 
When Dad Lee had his first child, Evie, all he wanted was to give her something truly special. So he started painting her a Disney mural full of her favorite characters and some of his favorites too. He's painted murals before, but never anything like this. Lee works over 40 hours a week in a factory, so sometimes between work, life, and family, he'd only get a few minutes a week to work on it, but kept chipping away at the mural for months, which eventually turned into years. But finally, three years later, he had this huge masterpiece. And three-year-old Evie can't be happier to not only see her favorite animals and princesses every day, but even more, to have a dad like Lee, who's sure to give her a lifetime of magical memories.